Can criticism push someone to greatness? Caitlin Clark, a rising star in the WNBA, has faced her fair share of adversity. Today, we'll dive into how Clark shattered records, silenced critics like Kennedy Carter, and is transforming women's basketball as we know it. Caitlin Clark has redefined what it means to be a rookie in the WNBA. Her debut season was nothing short of spectacular, with an average of 24 points and 8.5 assists per game. This achievement not only set a new rookie record, but also earned her the Rookie of the Year title. Clark's precision in playmaking, leadership on the court, and ability to make quick decisions under pressure made her a force to be reckoned with. It wasn't just the numbers she put up, it was the style, energy, and passion she brought to the game. Her collection of awards, which includes being named to the first team all WNBA, demonstrates how good she is. However, what truly distinguishes her is the capacity to make her teammates better. Her passing and court vision have aspired fans to witness such legendary talents in the game within a blink of an eye and made her one of the highest recruiting players for Indiana Fever history. There is no doubt that Clark's role in the promotion of the game of women's basketball and its development is immeasurable. Her playing standard has created quite a storm in the nation and is aiding the WNBA build on its brand prospect as never been before. With the record she is setting and the norms Serene allows, this is the tip of the iceberg with regards to her rookie year. Despite Caitlin Clark's all the accolades and achievements, there were critics in waiting to burst any blinding bubbles that might surround her. League star Kennedy Carter was one of the few players who encouraged Clark, but later backed David Help with some criticism over what she said was the hype of performance. Many people took offense at Carter's remarks because of the trouble that Clark was currently experiencing, but more they threw at Clark, the more her fame escalated instead. In particular, those who retorted Carter's remarks made use of Clark's commendable figures accompanied by her own contribution to change the Indiana Fever playoffs. The fans and sports commentators moved fast and took sides with some defending Carter, others feeling that it's a bitter reaction to Clark's unexcelled achievements. The slant building upon their competition turned into a point of attention for the media themselves amplifying the already existing discussions about young and perceptibly more aggressive players and established ones. What is more, although controversy may be the primary idea behind most of these scathing remarks, Carter's comments did more, if not to say no less than bring forth her accolades back to the spotlight. The audience was rather pro-Clark, and a number of articles mentioned her mental toughness and poise even while performing impossible tasks. Suffice it to say that Kennedy Carter's words were neither demeaning, whether lessening the appreciation of people for Clark's evolving achievements in the sports world. Caitlin Clark did not seem to let Clay Kiki's strong assault phase her too much. And her answer. Let's not talk. Instead, let the game do talking and her game seems to have gotten even better as it appears that she had a point to prove. She was physically and mentally composed and exhibited superb mental control as each match went forth. She was a pro on her disposition on the court. She did not engage in the wordy games and obsessed only with helping her team win. During her first season, a decisive event was when she set another record when a shorthand delay was entered for the fastest player to make 300 assists in the WNBA. It was not just a statistical exercise. It was a testament to her excellent creativity in space and her love for making the stars out of her teammates. Clark displayed leadership and did not seek glory herself, but rather supported her teammates and later, when necessary, fully disdained any background gossip. Few athletes are able to utilize criticism as a spark in a positive way. Not only does this display Clark's physical growth, but more importantly, the tact with which she takes up her position. As the season went on, Clark's game on the court remained terrific, which brought her more respect in the basketball world over as critics began to disappear. The stars of the league not only affect the numbers of books sold and endorsements, professional players' spotlight movements are improved, as was confirmed by Suchinomiya Turen. Atimuhiman market is at the opens and demands not seen before. Caitlin's duality of being a performer and an athlete earns her fans across the nation. The Indiana Fever experienced a considerable growth in ticket sales and television viewership, with many believed the attendance of Clark to have played a part. This was particularly the case given the stagnant nature of outsiders Clark was made for this competition. With every match that she plays, the attention of potential WNBA fans escape less and less. The professional league in ace is changing economic states of welfare expansion over the promotional construct. To add, Clark is not simply competing, she is altering the game. The lifting of restrictions attracted many people, and there are no changes in the organization. 
First, the fans have always lost sight of her latest focus of efforts beyond the basketball court, Clark's transformation into a working mother. Young and sports, new assails are on female basketball by explaining why it is better, younger, and more soft satisfying others' sterile desire to compete. Caitlin Clark's triumph is not just hers alone as it marks a new era of reckoning for women's basketball. The WNBA over the years has not been able to garner the same level of viewership and support enjoyed by the men's counterpart, the NBA. But with the likes of Clark in the mix, that story is slowly beginning to change. The fact that she is commanding the court while also reaching out to the audience is bringing out the league, justifying that women's basketball needs the same attention as men. Kennedy Carter's remarks may have instigated this change, but Clark has shown with her actions that there is no need for any such unhealthy competition, and the competition is all about talent. The rivalry of these two players is therefore not only competitive in nature, but also emphasizes the problems women's sportswomen encounter to be recognized. The way Clark is self-consistently operating in this environment is going to change the meaning of being a professional sportswoman playing in the WNBA. This cultural shift goes beyond just basketball. It is about changing the way people think and providing the much needed space for women athletes. Clark's example is encouraging a new breed of women athletes to go for what they want, eye in the face of the most excruciating odds. Her influence and contributions to the game will be astonishing. Caitlin Clark's narrative arcs in the WNBA draw deeply upon her complex brute resolve, deft talent, and extraordinary leadership. In spite of the discomfort from players such as Kennedy Carter, Clark has made it clear that it is the state of the game which matters the most, and she has broken records, wowed crowds, and raised the profile of women's basketball along the way. Her capacity for ignoring the barrage of criticism while still turning up week in week out with stunning performances is the mental toughness any top class elementary sports person must have. The rookie season of Clark will be etched in the annals of history, not only in her career, but that of the league as well. This rivalry with Kennedy Carter, carved out of intense competition as well as media attention, has helped shine the light on the WNBA more than it ever did. While Carter's critiques may have been built with the intent to make Clark Clark look bad, they probably did the opposite by shining a spotlight on Clark's talent. Just as she did on the hard court, Clark made sure to keep her answers appropriate and focused to the red light rather than the blue. The influence of Caitlin Clark is not limited to the court since she opens doors for fellow of her sports. This acceleration is socio-cultural progress in sports, bringing WNBA to the limelight and showcasing how women's basketball is as exciting and competitive as its men's counterparts and deserves the appreciation it gets. Caitlin Clark isn't only beating records but is busy shaking limits. However, with her going over the fence more than necessary, her history is one that will take a different turn a few years from now and as her pull is that of females. In terms of popularity and success,